everyone welcome back to my channel panther schools my name is amit singh and in the previous video we talked about uh, what is mules of composer what are the benefits how we can create or how we can integrate one salesforce org with another salesforce org without writing a single piece of code single line of code so this is going to be the episode 2 for the same series where we are going to talk about another use case so before we start talking about the use case please do like share subscribe the channel also press the bell icon so that uh, you don't miss any update from our channel so the use case is that you're working for a company called pantherschools.com and their sale their sales team is working over the google seats and they don't have access to salesforce now there is a requirement so whenever there is a new lead created into the google seat that lead should be created into the salesforce org as well and at the same time when there is a new lead created into the salesforce org the slack channel there should be a message posted into the slack channel where the complete sales rep team is working on so that they can get notified and they can start working on that lead for the qualification and then converting it to the contact opportunities and then sell their product or services so to implement this uh, you this huge case we have got some prerequisites like you need to have at least salesforce developer or sandbox or then slack account so that we can set up the slack channels and then google sheet i hope you all have access to these three accounts and if you are having milsoft composer let's go ahead and start developing this let's talk about how the flow is going to be there for the huge case we will have a google sheet then go there will be a new row added into the seat as soon as the new row is added as a lead the mules of composer is going to keep listening the component the listener uh, for the google seat and then it's going to send the data to salesforce we will see if the record is created into salesforce if that is created we are going to post the channel into the we are going to post the message into the slack channel and if the record is uh, if there is any error the process is going to exit that's what we are going to do here as part of the flow so this is my google sheet which i have prepared i've given the name as interested leads and then these are the headers the headers are basically so that we can map the headers from google sheet to the field into the salesforce org we've got first name last name email title phone company and fax these are some of the fields that we are that our sales rep are basically collecting from the users okay and then i also have a slack channel for me so this is my slack channel where uh, sorry this is my slack account where we have a slack channel and if you don't have a slack account you can go to slack.com and you can sign up for a free slack account it's a very free it's free basically so that so that you can go to slack and then sign it up for yourself and you can easily utilize that okay and then once you have signed up for slack account uh, this is my desktop application for the slack you can also open the browser application as well and here you can go to the under channel section if you click on drop down you'll go to create and create channel and let's quickly create a channel called sales leads or sales channel this is our channel name and click on next and create it it's going to be the public within the panther schools so we have got this sales channel you clearly see here i have i'm the only person who is joined to this channel okay now we have got everything that we needed uh, if you remember in the previous video we have already connected to our org that org that is the org we are going to use here for the purpose of our demo so navigate to your salesforce composer click on new flow from the composer flows tab it will take you to the new uh, like composer flow page where you are going to select what's the target so we will see so let's quickly ask the question to ourselves what is the target that you wanted to integrate with so target is salesforce what is the source source is google sheet so first thing the triggering point our system event is going to be google sheet so if you click on that system events you will see there is an option called google sheets select that and if you really have the google account already connected you can select that 
we are going to create a new connection here. So this is the name of my connection for the Google Sheet. Let's go ahead and click on connect. Once you click on connect, you will see a pop up here and it is going to ask you to sign in with Google. If you remember right, we talked about it is going to use OAuth, the concept of open authentication and that is not going to save your credentials and you can be uh, be sure that there is no error or nothing there is no such error that comes into the picture so go ahead and then it's going to basically ask you to log in into the or uh, into your google account so go ahead and select the specific use uh, google account where you have created the leads you have created the seat basically google seat and then it is really going to ask you to allow or cancel the access so let's go ahead and click on continue and before we can just select this checkbox because this would be really easy for composer to read, uh, read and edit the uh, google sheets if you don't select you will not be able to see that see the sheets click on continue and once you click on continue you will see that uh, you will see a success message and then you would be able to select the row sorry select the event when you wanted to trigger this flow and our trick our point is whenever there is a new row created into the google sheet now what is the sheet you have said new row right now it is going to ask which sheet you are talking about there because there could be so many sheet in your google account so if you click on drop down you will see the list that you do have so this is our sheet that is interesting leads then it is going to talk about worksheet and what is the worksheet worksheet is nothing these are the tabs that you see into the bottom of your google sheet like sheet 1 sheet 2 so we have to select we have got sheet 1 we'll select that and once you select the sheet 1 it is going to showcase whatever all the fields that you have here on the left and right hand side and if you click on this expand it's going to showcase all the fields with the one value with the dummy value that we have already populated here in our sheet so that is basically on the triggering point and if you want you can click on select fields and select which field you really wanted to select so we can clearly select the fields and then click on apply so we have selected the fields we clicked on apply okay now our triggering point is set up let's quickly set up the target point so click on this plus icon and we really wanted to send this information to salesforce so that is going to be the interaction which is system event and from the drop from the available connection select salesforce and here this time we are going to select our org which is which one we click uh, we connected into the previous video into our very first video of mills of composer and we have to create a new record for which object the object is going to be lead currently it is loading the object you could see here the spinner is going on and once the objects are loaded we can select the lead from the list of uh, objects and what are all the fields that we wanted to map we have got company last name and we can see there is first name email title phone and fax so we can click on select additional fields and we can search for email then first name title phone mobile phone and fax these are the fields that we wanted to have and then click on apply once you click on apply you will see that there are the uh, there are the input fields created for all those your fields just click on this uh, link and you will see your your you will see your triggering point and all the values that you wanted to map with so company is going to map with company last name similarly we are going to map all the fields so we have mapped all the fields here you clearly see we are mapping it from the google sheet and then we are having the output this which is going to give us the lead id from the salesforce let's go ahead and save our flow and we are going to say so this is the name of my flow that says that google seeds to salesforce to slack and then click on apply so this is going to save our flow and we will also see there is a name of our flow next to flow details next thing that we have to do is now our lead is created now we really wanted to send the message into the slack channel so click on again plus icon select the interaction event and this time we are going to click on select this slack okay so i have got uh, 
some of the select connections already available here but uh, we will click on this add new select connection and then here we have to provide the name of our connection so after providing the connection click on connect it will again ask you to log in into your slack slack account so you could see here this is MuleSoft platform is the name of our application and this is my you could see on the top of uh, here on the top right there is a drop down which i can select which which slack workspace i wanted to log in so this is my workspace where i wanted to log in and click on allow and once you click on allow it is going to take you back to the mills of composer with the success message or error message in our case we got the success message that slack channel the slack has been connected now which what action we wanted to take is we wanted to post the message to the channel okay so what is our channel so if you see here you can also if you have the automatic channel you can have that but if you want you could click on this icon little icon and select from list and search here sales channel the channel that we have created what is the message that you wanted to send here and this time we wanted to send like this click on this message and then select custom expression here we can prepare our formula so what we wanted to say here is we will say there is a new lead and after the new lead we are going to provide the name of our lead so what is we are going to put here is Go to the data tab and the name is going to be first name space last name. So we will say there is a new lead. This is created with the title, and then you can select title for which company you can select this company, and then you can also utilize like forward slash n, and then you can say you can use email, and then you can say phone. So you could basically provide the information, most of the information that you really want. And then if you really want, you could say Salesforce record ID, and you can put the ID of your Salesforce record from the outcome, from the action that you have executed to create the record into Salesforce. If you really want, you could have the hyperlink here. You could uh, get the link for your Salesforce org and put the information and prepare it as a hyperlink you can also make that but we are not going to do that you can see here the syntax is valid so click on apply and you clearly see now this is what the message we wanted to post to slack channel we really don't want it to give it a bot name or bot icon url go ahead and click on save so within the 15 minutes we are able to uh, we are ready to test our application right so like we did in the previous video let's go ahead and click on test it will wait for maybe 10 to 15 seconds to the test to start and once the test is started we are going to create a new lead in our excel sheet in our google sheet so now our test has been started here waiting for the trigger event so let's go ahead i'm going to do a copy here and going to paste it the same row the reason i'm pasting it the same row over here so that uh, at once my lead is getting created it is picking up and then selecting the complete row now you could see here this time it has immediately picked up and even we were uh, in the google sheet and it has immediately picked up the record and it says that uh, there is a green check mark that says that the lead has been picked up and this particular step in the flow has been completed successfully if you scroll down the Create a new record step also has been executed successfully, as well as our posting to the channel has been executed. So, if we come back into our Slack channel, you could see here we are able to see that the Mills of Composer is the application which has posted the message which says that there is a new lead. The name of the lead has been created with the title for this school company. Okay, and this is the email. And we have got the phone number, and this is the Salesforce record ID. So that is how quickly you can integrate your Google Sheet, your Salesforce, if you wanted to really send the message to a person, right? In, let's say click on edit and let's click on plus icon. We wanted to post a Slack channel to the person. Let's say in that case, this is me where we wanted to post the Slack channel. 
message. So click on Slack again, select our connection, and what we will say is this time we will say send a direct message to a user. That means we can send the direct message. So let's click on to which user we wanted to send. I'm going to select from the list, and this time it's going to be my user that is Pan SFDC Panther. What is the message? Maybe we will get back here into the message, click on edit. Uh, we really Let's see if we can copy it. If not, we'll prepare it. For message, custom expression. Okay, so what, yeah, whatever I have copied, I'm able to paste it over here. And this time, the email is going to be in new tab. I'm going to put the phone also in a new line as well as the Salesforce. Maybe we can try to using asterisk here and see if the, this information is getting into the bold. Okay, so our syntax is valid. We have provided asterisk for all the lines that we want. And go ahead and click on save. Okay. And this time, what we will do is we are not going to test it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the email over here. The reason I'm changing the email because I really wanted to get the new email. Okay. And I'm also changing the name of my like the name of my lead as well so i've just changed uh, changed changed this i'm going to copy and then we will paste it once our test is started so let's get back to our composer flow click on test and wait for the test to be started yeah so our test has been started let's create a new row over here i just did copy paste uh, in the third row that is going to be our basically new row and if you come back here into our composer and wait for our composer to take the like place in that row and then send the information to Salesforce. You could see here now we got just uh, saved just now. We got the test has finished with the success message for all four steps one, two, three, four. And if you get back to your Slack channel, you could see here there is a new message that we've got here. Okay. And then if you go to the composer, you could see this new sub composer has sent me the message where I've got uh, these details in the bold format. You can see here clearly these are highlighted, and all details are here. We are able to clearly see the details. So, this is very easy for us to utilize new sub composer and integrate the various external system. And now, this is uh, okay. I've done the testing. We can go ahead and click on activate to activate the flow. So this is it for this video, the episode 2 of Mules of Composer series. If you have any question, any uh, we'll say scenarios that you want us to cover, please put into the description, not description, into the comment of the video and we will definitely try to cover those.